you know, you're gonna be sad for a few weeks, maybe a few months, but I promise you'll get over this. I know, but I don't wanna be sad. I wanna be happy. This is Master of None, a show written by Aziz Ansari about identity, adulthood, racism, love, and countless other topics. The series is hard to define not because it's pointless, but because it addresses so many different topics. Aziz defines the synopsis of the show as... We, we, just said, we really just said we wanted to do a single camera show that would be a narrative version of my comedic voice. While such a plot might group it into the category of comedies written by comedians, I see it as much more than that. While addressing the modern ideas and problems of today isn't anything new, doing so the way that Aziz does in this show certainly comes across as a breath of fresh air. Each episode is saying something about an issue or trend in society. Topics range from technology, parents, lifestyle, racism, feminism, homosexuality, crime, the list goes on. These ideas typically come with a sense of force and urgency, which, don't get me wrong, they should, but it seems to get exhausting and counterintuitive to a certain extent, especially when addressing them in the form of entertainment. What fascinates me the most is how the show doesn't seem like it's trying to attack these ideas straight on or shove them down the viewer's throats. The show assumes the viewer already knows of these ideas' existence and builds stories around such disadvantages or trends. It takes a traditional scenario and puts it in modern times. I mean, let's think about it. These stories aren't things we've never heard before. Man is looking for love, woman is displeased with her marriage, parents are unsupportive of change, and the most obvious, a man's personal item is stolen. Now, this last one in particular is how I came to this conclusion. I find it interesting why Aziz chose this episode, The Thief, to kick off the entire second season. This first story is based off the 1948 classic Bicycle Thieves, a film where a man who relies on his bike for work reasons has it stolen and is forced to look for it in the war and torn Rome. Master of None is the same thing, but instead of a bike, it's a phone, which in today's society is just as, if not more necessary, than a bike. While the other episodes in the story don't come across as obvious as this one, they all do take after stories from the past. Now, spoiler alert, season two is far more complex in terms of a theme than what comes across in this first episode. This episode is so far from what the rest of the episodes tell that it almost seems like the short film that plays before the feature. In reality though, this episode is a simplified version of every episode in season two, as well as the first season. This episode is a take on a classic film by putting basically the same story, including the visuals, into modern times, something he does in every other story despite maybe the visual part. What I find so genius about this technique is how Aziz has pushed what it means to tell stories in a visual format. Society has gotten so wrapped up on action and past knowledge for a story to be good that the stories we hear nowadays are either too complex or just too lifeless. If anything, this show is a message to storytellers who feel starting from scratch or building off of the same story are their only options, when in reality, discovering the what-ifs in an already told tale opens up to a world of possibilities. This idea of what-if plays off into the actual episodes of the show as well, when we find short stories that often don't even have Aziz in them. Turning comedic bits into a television series is nothing new. We saw this done in Louie, F is for Family, and most notably, Seinfeld. But of all these shows, Master of None stands alone while at the same time keeping that same synopsis. To me, these past series have always told the stories of the main character and the mishaps they run into. What Master of None does is tell the stories of those around us through a comedic lens. Each episode in Master of None serves as a short story, written by an author who is going through each problem that is addressed. It's Aziz's subtle yet significant approach on equality and what it means to be human in America. This is perfectly shown in episode 6 of the second season, New York, I Love You. This episode tells the story of three different New Yorkers, all facing some type of discrimination, being black, being deaf, and being an immigrant. What's so unique about this episode is that each story has nothing to do with their disadvantages. In fact, the stories are pretty normal. These are scenarios that everyone runs into. Aziz isn't telling us to understand their position, rather, he's telling us to watch these stories through their positions. And that's how I believe Master of None tells these stories. The series puts everyone on an equal scale without doing so in a preachy manner. It shows people of all races, sexes, and backgrounds experiencing the same types of situations we ourselves would experience. It shows the diversity in the world and is letting us know that nobody is better than anybody. Some of us may have love, some of us may have money, but at the end of the day we still have our imperfections, and to a certain extent, we're all masters of none. Don't forget to subscribe, go watch a movie, and thanks for watching.